Starting next week, we have one of the biggest tournaments in the US Open series, the Cincinnati Open, and it's a combined event, a Masters 1000 event for both the men and the women, and we're gonna go through everything you need to know about the Cincinnati Open next week. The event started back in 1899 and is the oldest tennis tournament in America that is played in its original city in Cincinnati, Ohio. And up until 1979, it was actually mostly played on clay courts and then switched to hard courts. And in 1981, it became a Grand Prix Super Series event, or as we know it now, an ATP 1000 event on the men's side of things. The ladies event actually wasn't played between 1974 and 1987 and again wasn't on the tour from 1989 to 2003 but came back on the WTA and in 2009 it was promoted to a WTA Premier 5 event or as we know it now a WTA 1000 event and in 2011 it combined in the same week as the men tournament and it has been for the last decade exactly how we see it now with both the men and the women playing at the same venue as one of the combined tournaments on tour. So as I just mentioned it's an ATP 1000 and a W WTA 1000 event and it's been around for a long time it's the 121st edition of the tournament for the men and for the women it's a 94th edition with Alexander Zverev and Ash Barty the defending champions in the open era the players that have won this tournament the most Roger Federer he's won seven titles in Cincinnati and Serena Williams and Victoria Azarenka have both won this title twice so the tournament is in America and it's actually in Cincinnati Ohio at the Lindner Family Tennis Center which consists of 17 outdoor hard courts category 3 hard courts which is a medium speed court and has three main stadiums at the venue with the center court holding 11,400 people, grandstand court, which is court number two, that holds up to 5,000 people, and court number three, which is a 4,000 people seat stadium. All courts consist of Hawkeye, as they do for most of these major events. Both the men and the women's draw are both consisting of 56 players in the main draw, with eight qualifiers and four wild cards going off last year's event. We have 16 seeds in this one, and the top eight seeds get a bye in the first round. Both these tournaments are major events, as they were last week in Canada. Both the men and the women's tour and a lot of big names play these events. The points distribution from the quarterfinals onwards, we have 180 points for the men if you make the quarterfinals. If you make the semifinals, it's 360 points. If you make the final of the Cincinnati Open, you get 600 points. And if you win the whole thing, you win 1,000 points. On the women's side, if you make the quarterfinals, it's 190 points. If you make the semifinals, it's 350 points. If you make it all the way to the final, you get 585 points. And if you win the whole thing, you get a whole 900 points. So some big rewards in the rankings for those players who do well here. Prize money from the quarterfinals onwards, starting with the men. If you make the quarterfinal, you get $116,000. If you make it all the way to the semifinals, you get $197,000. If you make the final, you get $354,000. And if you get all the way to the title and you lift the trophy at the end, you win a cool $654,000. On the women's side, if you make the quarterfinals, you get $47,000. A semifinal will get you $100,000. Making it to the final will get you $188,000. And if you win the whole thing, you win $255,000. So there you have it, the history of the tournament, and it's been around for a long time. We all know that. We've just seen that this tournament's been around for a while. And we're going to do a draw ceremony and a draw preview, of course, as we always do every week. But give me an early prediction. Who do you think is going to win this event? We know we have uh, possibly Rafa coming back as well. So uh, it's going to be a huge, huge event on both the ATP and WTA. And with Canada underway now, it's going to be interesting to see who can use this form going into the US Open in a few weeks.